Hello everyone and welcome to today's sixth grade ELA lesson. Today we are going to be learning about synonyms and antonyms, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you all. I created a PowerPoint to help us envision this concept. Okay, so here's synonyms and antonyms. So for our agenda today, we're first going to be going over the definitions of synonyms as well as antonyms. Next, we'll be comparing different words, different pairs of words, and figuring out if those are synonyms and, or antonyms. After that, we'll be playing a matching game where we're matching the synonyms. Following that, we'll be completing a synonyms and antonyms crossword puzzle. After that, we'll be doing a read aloud, and I'm going to underline certain words in the read aloud, and then we're going to replace those underlined words with a synonym. This helps us to enhance our text. And after that, we will be recapping how the lesson went. So let's get started. So synonyms versus antonyms. Synonyms can be thought of as similar to each other. So like twins, for example, they're kind of like the same. Or for example, these fish right here, they're like the same. So synonyms have the same basic meaning. Whereas antonyms are kind of like opposites. So here we have a red and yellow fish and a yellow red fish. Like they kind of look a little bit different. One has a yellow head, the other one has a red head. One has a yellow tail, the other one has a red tail. They're kind of like opposites in that sense. Or for example, slow versus fast. A snail is super slow, a train is super fast. Slow and fast are antonyms because they have opposite meanings. So for our definitions, synonyms are words that have similar meanings. And you can kind of remember this by looking at the first letter. So synonym starts with an S and similar also starts with an S. So that's one way to remember them. Synonyms similar. Again, synonyms are words that have similar meanings. So for example, able, capable, proficient, skilled, and competent all kind of have that same basic meaning. So if I was to say I am able, I am capable, I am proficient, I am skilled, I'm competent, those all have that same meaning. Versus antonyms are words that have opposite meanings. So for example, capable and uncapable, are antonyms because they have opposite meanings, or hard and easy are also a pair of antonyms because they have opposite meanings, or again, slow and fast, they have opposite meanings. So again, synonym means similar, antonyms means opposite. So synonym is a word that means exactly or nearly the same as another word, such as good, great, awesome, amazing. These are all synonyms or cold, chilly, freezing, they all have that same, that same theme of cold. So those are all synonyms, or small, little, tiny, those also are all synonyms, or quick, fast, swift. Again, these mean nearly the same thing, and so they're synonyms. Antonyms, in contrast, are words opposite in meaning to another word, such as bad versus good. They mean two different things, they're kind of like opposites. Or cold versus hot. That's another example of opposite antonyms. Or big versus little. See how these dogs are so very different from each other? So these, those words are antonyms, big versus little, or tall versus short. And so we also have some antonyms here. So we have chili, it's our first word, and then warm. Chili and warm are antonyms. Same with chili and hot. Again, they mean those two different things, or chili and burning, or chili and roasting, or chili and scorching. So again, those are all antonyms. <laughs> okay, so moving on. For some words to know that we'll be using quite frequently in our lesson, we have sorrowful, which means full of sorrow or unhappy, alike, which means similar or nearly the same, unique, which means one of a kind, different, diverse, which means different, unique, and amusing which means funny or entertaining. Note that these are all synonyms actually. So sorrowful, a synonym could be full of sorrow or unhappy. For alike, a similar, a synonym could be similar or nearly the same. For the word unique, a synonym could be one of a kind, different. For diverse, a synonym could be different, unique. So notice that unique and diverse are kind of synonyms because they kind of have that same meaning behind them. And then we've got the word amusing, and some of its synonyms could be funny and entertaining. So, synonyms or antonyms. Identify if these two words are synonyms or antonyms by, you could either raise your hand or you could just say it orally, kind of like out loud. 
Again, synonym means similar and antonym means opposite. So synonyms have similar meanings, antonyms have opposite meanings. And here's our little guide just to, just to help with memory. So again, synonym means similar, antonym means opposite. So are the two words happy and sad synonyms or antonyms? Happy and sad. If you said that they're antonyms, you are correct. Those are indeed antonyms. Let's try our next pair. Identify if the words sad and unhappy are synonyms or antonyms. So do they have that similar meaning or do they have an opposite meaning? If you say that they have a similar meaning and that they are synonyms, you are correct. What about the pair of words sad and sorrowful? Are those synonyms or are they antonyms? If you said synonyms, you are correct. Sad and sorrowful both have that same meaning or a similar meaning, which is why they're synonyms. What about the words sorrowful and joyful? Are those synonyms or antonyms? If you said antonyms, you are correct. They have two very different meanings. What about the words similar and different? Are similar and different synonyms or antonyms? If you said antonyms, you are correct. Similar and different have two different meanings, two opposite meanings, which is why they're antonyms. What about the words alike and similar? Are those words synonyms or antonyms? If you said that they are synonyms, you are correct. Alike and similar both have that almost the same meaning, a similar meaning. What about the two words similar and unique? Are those two words synonyms or antonyms? Similar and unique. If you said antonyms, you are correct. Similar and unique have two opposite meanings. What about the words unique and diverse? unique and diverse, synonyms or antonyms? If you said antonyms, you are correct. They both have opposite meanings. That's because one of them kind of means like special in its own way and versus diverse means that it's kind of, kind of a broader term used. What about hardworking and lazy? Are those synonyms or antonyms? So are they similar in meaning or are they opposite in meaning? If you said that they are antonyms, you are correct. They are opposite in meaning. What about the two words funny and amusing? Are those two words synonyms or antonyms? If you said synonyms, you are correct. That's because funny and amusing have that same underlying meaning of funny. So amusing kind of means like funny or entertaining. That's why those are synonyms. What about the pair of words serious and amusing? Serious and amusing. If you said that they are antonyms, you are correct. That's because they have opposite meanings. Okay, so now I have some pictures of words and we're going to read them one by one. And I want you to tell me if certain pairs that I put together are synonyms or antonyms. So on the first row, we have sad, unhappy, and sorrowful. Are sad, unhappy, and sorrowful synonyms or antonyms? If you said that those are synonyms, you are correct. They all have the underlying meaning of sad. What about the words happy, joyful, and content? Are those synonyms or antonyms? If you said that those are synonyms, you are correct. They all have the underlying meaning of happy. Now, what if I combined all six words? So sad, unhappy, sorrowful, combined with happy, joyful, content. Again, that's sad, unhappy, sorrowful, combined with happy, joyful, content. Are those groups synonyms or are they antonyms? Which one? If you said antonyms, you are correct. Sad and happy are antonyms, unhappy and joyful are antonyms, and sorrowful and content are antonyms as well. So here we have some more. If we're comparing and contrasting funny and amusing, 
are those synonyms or antonyms? If you said that they're synonyms, you're correct. They both have the underlined meaning of funny or entertaining. What about amusing and serious? Are amusing and serious synonyms or antonyms? If you said antonyms, you are correct. They both have opposite meanings. What about hardworking and lazy? Are those synonyms or antonyms? If you said antonyms, you are correct. They have two very different meanings. All right, just a couple of more examples. What about the words diverse and different? Are those synonyms or antonyms? Those are kind of synonyms, I would say. They both kind of have a similar meaning. What about similar and different? Different and similar, similar and different. Are those synonyms or antonyms? Those would be antonyms because they have opposite meanings. So now it is time to play a game of match the synonyms. So I'm gonna read these words one by one in both columns. So permit, this is the verb permit, not the noun permit for when driving a car. This is the verb permit. Then you've got add together, anger, funny, achieve, answer, lazy, alike, and sorrowful. So that's our first column. For our second column, we have the words response, amusing, similar, unhappy, accomplish, combine, hardworking, rage, and allow. Okay, so in our first column for the word permit, remembering that this is a verb, so it's an action for permit, which synonym matches permit? So our answers, our, our options, our options for permit are response, amusing, similar, unhappy, accomplish, combine, hardworking, rage, and allow. So again, which of these synonyms here best matches permit? So does response match permit? Does amusing match permit? Does similar match permit? Does unhappy match permit? Does accomplish match permit? Does combine match permit? Does hardworking match permit? Does rage match permit or does allow match permit? If you said allow, you are correct. Permit and allow are synonyms because they have similar meanings. Let's try another one. So, doo -doo -doo. okay. So for add together, does add together mean response, amusing, similar, unhappy, accomplish, combine, hardworking, or rage. So again, which of these is a synonym for add together? If you said add together and combine are similar, then you are correct. They're similar, so they're kind of like synonyms for each other. So you've got add together and combine. They're both synonyms because they have similar meanings. All right, so what about the word anger? Which of these is a synonym for anger? We've got response, amusing, similar, unhappy, accomplish, hardworking, and rage. So again, we're looking which of these is the synonym for anger. And if you want, you can always pause the video too, just to go over the options again if you need to. So if you said that anger matches with rage, you are correct. Those are synonyms. They kind of have that similar meaning. Let's try our next one, funny. Which of these is a synonym for funny? We've got response, amusing, similar, unhappy, accomplish, and hardworking. So again, which of these is a synonym, meaning a similar meaning to funny? If you said that funny and amusing are synonyms, you are correct. They both have that same meaning. Funny and amusing are synonyms. Time for our next one, achieve. 
So as a synonym for achieve, response, similar, unhappy, accomplish, or hardworking. Again, we're looking for a synonym for achieve. And if you want, you can pause the video and read through the options one last time. So if you said that achieve and accomplish are synonyms, then you are correct. They both have that same underlying meaning. They're both similar in meaning, so they are synonyms. What about our next one, the word answer? <clears throat> what would be a good synonym for answer? Would it be response, similar, unhappy, or hardworking? Again, response, similar, unhappy, or hardworking for answer. If you said response, you would be correct. Answer and response are both synonyms because they have similar meanings. <clears throat> it's like saying giving an answer versus giving a response, or that is the answer. Okay, so for our next one, we have the word lazy, and we're trying to figure out a synonym for lazy. Is it similar, unhappy, or hardworking? Again, similar, unhappy, or hardworking? Which of these is a synonym for lazy? And for this one, it is actually going to be an antonym. I bet this one will be an antonym. What's the antonym, so the opposite, for lazy, similar, unhappy, or hardworking? So which one? Lazy, will the antonym be similar? unhappy or hardworking? If you said hardworking, you are correct. Lazy and hardworking are antonyms. They have the opposite meanings, so that's why those two match. What about the words alike? Is it a synonym for similar, unhappy? And those are only two options left, so similar or unhappy. Is alike a synonym for similar or unhappy? If you said that alike is a synonym for similar, you are correct. They both have similar meanings. All right. And our last one is sorrowful. And our synonym for sorrowful, because we have no other options left, our synonym for sorrowful is unhappy. So they both have similar meanings. All right, so now it's time for a synonyms and antonyms crossword puzzle. Okay. So the way this works is that we're first going to do the ones going down, and we have five of those. And then we're going to do the ones going across. So that's number six and number seven. So let's get started. So our first one going down, so this one right here with the six spaces, this one is going to be an antonym, so we know it's going to be the opposite meaning, an antonym for wrinkled that starts with an S. Again, an antonym, so opposite for wrinkled that starts with an S. So what word starts with an S and means the opposite of wrinkled? And if you want, you can always pause the video too if you need a little more time to think. So an antonym for wrinkled that starts with an S would be smooth. Smooth and wrinkled are antonyms because they have very opposite meanings. They're kind of like two completely different textures. All right, time for number two. Number two, an antonym, so again, opposite meaning, an antonym for warm that starts with a C. So again, we're looking for a word that starts with a C that has the opposite meaning of warm. And it's gonna be four letters. If you said cold, you are correct. Cold and warm are opposites because they have opposite meanings. They have completely different meanings from each other. All right, for our next one, number three going down, number three has one, two, three, four spaces. So for number three, we've got an antonym for tiny that starts with an H. Again, an antonym, so opposite, for tiny that starts with an H. So what word starts with an H and means the opposite of tiny? If you said huge, you are correct. Huge and tiny are opposites. Kind of like the huge elephant versus the tiny mouse. They're very much different from each other, so they're opposites. 
and therefore antonyms. So huge and tiny are antonyms. Number four, going down. Number four is one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So we're looking for a six letter word. A synonym for beautiful that starts with a P. Again, we're looking for a word that starts with a P and means the same as beautiful because synonyms mean the same, they're similar. So what word starts with a P and is a synonym for beautiful? If you said a synonym that starts with a P and is a synonym for beautiful is pretty, then you are correct. So six letter word here. Number five, an antonym, so opposite meaning, for noisy that starts with an S. So what word starts with an S and means the opposite of noisy? And you can pause the video too if you need to, if you need some extra time to think. So if you said that the word would be silent, you are correct. Silent and noisy have two opposite meanings, which is why those two are antonyms. All right, going across for number six. So this one right here, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So a six letter word that is a synonym for different that starts with a U. Again, a synonym for different that starts with a U. So what word starts with a U and has a similar meaning to different? If you said that that word would be unique, you are correct. Good job. Okay, last one, number seven. We already have a bunch of good hints for this one. It starts with an H has a D as the fourth letter, has an R as the seventh letter, has an I as the ninth letter, and has a G as the eleventh letter. So for number seven, we've got an antonym for lazy that starts with an H. And we use this word a couple of times in our presentation as well. So again, a word that starts with an H that has the opposite meaning of lazy. If you said hardworking, you are correct. Good job. So I hope that you enjoyed the synonyms and antonyms crossword puzzle. Now it is time for our read aloud. So we're going to pause every once in a while, pick a word and find a synonym or antonym. So first we're going to read the whole thing through. This is from Highlights Magazine, July 2011 version. And it's called Garden Stakeout. And it's by Susan Burke Koch and art by Susan Detweiler. Okay. So those are our author and our illustrator. So we're going to read it once through and then we're going to pick certain words to find a synonym or antonym for. So let's read it together. Scram! Tyler ran across the yard waving his arms. The gray brown cottontail, that's a type of rabbit, paused, still chewing. When Tyler got closer, it darted under the fence and disappeared. Tyler crouched near the seedlings. The carrots were chomped, the snap peas were snapped off, the beets were bitten, and the flowers, the only ones budding were daisies. Tyler groaned. Tyler's twin brother, Dylan, came up behind him. Let me guess, rabbits? Tyler nodded. They're eating everything. How will I get my gardening badge? I told you gardening was too hard. At least I'll have no trouble writing my list of garden pests. Tyler snapped a few pictures of what was left of the plants. I thought it'd be cool to eat the veggies I grew when we go camping next month. Dylan examined the half-chewed broccoli and grinned. I'd rather eat some mores. I'm not giving up, Tyler said. Maybe you should take a break. Let's go for a bike ride. Tyler took out his bike. While we ride, I'll think of ways to keep the rabbits away. Dylan left. Good luck. After the ride and an afternoon of library research, Tyler removed dead leaves from the yard. He'd read that a clean yard gives rabbits fewer hiding spots. Then he biked to the barbers and asked for a bag of hair. One of his books had said that cottontails don't like the smell of human hair, so he sprinkled it around his plants. For a fake snake, Tyler cut a piece of rubber tubing and placed it in his garden. Tyler waited behind a tree with his camera. One by one, rabbits entered the garden. They wiggled through the fence, hopped around the rubber tubing and hair, then started nibbling the lettuce. 
Great, Tyler thought. I've given them a rabbit obstacle course. Later, Tyler looked at his photos. He noticed something suspicious in the daisies. It can't be, he said. He ran to the garage where Dylan was tinkering with his bike. Come on, he said. Dylan followed Tyler. Tyler tiptoed inside the fence. Shh. Afraid we'll wake up the tomatoes? Dylan asked. Not the tomatoes. Tyler separated the daisies. Nestled inside, three balls of fluffy fur were asleep in the sun. Wow, Dylan said. The mama found a perfect spot for her babies, said Tyler. Dylan nodded. An all-you-can-eat buffet. And a fence for protection from enemies, Tyler added. Tough luck for you, Dylan said. That's it for your gardening badge. Tyler snapped several photos of the babies. That's okay, he grinned. A photography badge will be just as good. Okay, so here I've underlined some of our words, and I'd like you guys to find a synonym for the words that I underlined. So we've got scram, Tyler ran across the yard, waving his arms. So what's a good synonym, a word with a similar meaning for ran that we could kind of replace the sentence with to make it even more enhanced kind of, to make it even more vivid? What's a good synonym for ran? We could say darted, or we could say sprinted. So we could say scram, Tyler darted across the yard, waving his arms, or scram, Tyler sprinted across the yard, waving his arms. And those all kind of have that similar meaning. What about this following sentence? When Tyler got closer, it darted under the fence and disappeared. So instead of saying darted, what else could we say? Maybe we could say hopped. Maybe we could say when Tyler got closer, it hopped under the fence and it disappeared. Or it dug under the fence and disappeared. Those all have that same underlying meaning of the rabbit disappearing. So those could all be great synonyms. What about this next word that I've underlined? So Tyler nodded, they're eating everything. What's a good synonym for eating? What's a word that kind of has a similar meaning? <clears throat> If you said a synonym for eating could be consuming, you're correct. <coughs> so we could say they're consuming everything. And that offers almost like some more vivid imagery for it. It helps people picture it in their minds a little bit better. So we could say they're consuming everything if we wanted to replace this word with the synonym. What about this sentence? I told you gardening was too hard. What's a good synonym for hard? Well, we could say difficult. We could substitute it with I told you gardening was too difficult. We could even find another synonym for hard, as in challenging. So we could say, I told you gardening was too challenging. Those are both great synonyms, difficult and challenging. Let's look at this one right here. Dylan examined the half-chewed broccoli and grinned. So instead of saying grinned, what synonym could we substitute for grinned? Say if we didn't want to use that word. Well, grinned kind of means smiled, so maybe we could replace it with that. We could say, Dylan examined the half-chewed broccoli and smiled. And those both mean the same thing, so they're synonyms. What about this one? I'm not giving up, Tyler said. So said is a very common word. What synonym do you think would have a similar meaning that we could replace said with? If you said exclaimed, or another word that would also work, with said, then you are correct. So we could say, I'm not giving up, Tyler exclaimed. We could even say stated. I'm not giving up, Tyler stated. And those all have the same general meaning. Okay, what about this one? Dylan laughed, good luck. What's a good synonym for laughed? If you said chuckled, that could be a good one. Dylan chuckled, good luck. And again, those both have the similar meanings to each other laughed and chuckled. Okay, and then all the way down here, we have our last one. A photography badge will be just as good. So good is also one of those very commonly used words. So what could be a good synonym for good? There's a whole bunch of awesome, awesome options. We could say, first of all, awesome. We could say great. We could say fabulous. 
wonderful, all of those. We could say a photography badge will be just as great, or a photography badge will be just as awesome, or a photography badge will be just as wonderful. Again, good, great, awesome, wonderful, they all have that same general meaning of good. So this can all be substituted for good to kind of enhance our sentence. All right, so briefly recapping how today's lesson went. We first talked about the definitions of synonyms versus antonyms, how synonyms have that similar meaning, whereas antonyms have an opposite meaning. Then we practice identifying if pairs of words were synonyms versus antonyms based on their meanings, whether they were similar or opposite to each other. After that, we played a game of matching the synonyms to each other. Following that, we filled out a crossword puzzle for synonyms and antonyms. After that, we had our read aloud, replacing the underlined words with the synonym. And so I hope that you enjoyed today's lesson. I know that I certainly did. It was a lot of fun. And so I hope that you will continue practicing synonyms as well as antonyms and being able to identify them. And I will see you later. Thank you.